Optimization. Find two positive numbers whose product is a hundred and whose sum is a minimum. Let's get started. To solve the problem, we're going to be using calculus to solve the problem, not using try and error. So we have two numbers, two positive numbers. If the first one is x, the second one could be y, so that's a product x times y equals 100. We could write y as a function of x, dividing both sides by x, y will be 100 divided by x. So the product will be multiplying x times y which is 100 over x and we need to minimize the sum and the sum should be the sum of x and 100 over x we need to minimize this so to get started this is just like an introduction we have the following the two numbers are x and 100 over x such that x is greater than 0 and we need to minimize the sum so let's call that x plus 100 over x let's have it being called our function f of x to minimize this we're going to be using calculus as mentioned so let's find the first derivative the first derivative derivative of x will be 1 derivative 1 over x is minus 1 over x to the second so this will give me 100 over x to the second which if you combine like uh, combine these two numbers with the common denominator x to the second say so rewriting one as x to the second over x to the second i have the following so this becomes one denominator and on top it's x to the second minus 100. now the game in calculus we set this equal to zero to find the roots or the zeros of f prime and that comes from the numerator which means I have x to the second minus 100 equals 0 which implies that x to the second equals 100 now if we take the square root of both sides with plus minus that's minus 10 plus 10 but we're going to ignore the negative so we'll just take that x should be the positive number x equals 10 so for the f prime to be 0 f prime of x to be 0 we found that x has to be 10 that means x equals 10 is the only critical number that we have the critical number that we have okay finding f prime signs for increasing decreasing so this is line for the values of f prime f prime of x we have x equals 10 and the value for f prime let's fix that and write it down clearly as 10 f prime is 0 
to the left plug in any number like one you will end up with native plug in any number on the right of 10 like 11 or 15 you could test it in f prime which is 1 minus 100 over x a second that will give me positive that says that the function is decreasing on the left of zero and increasing to the right of uh sorry i said zero to the left of x equals 10 and increasing to the right of x equals 10 meaning we have f prime of x is less than zero on zero to 10 and f prime of x is greater than zero when x is greater than 10. that is decreasing and that is increasing therefore there is an absolute since it's the only minimum point that we have absolute minimum at x equals 10 and the numbers are The first one was 10 and the second one is 100 over 10 which is another 10 or 10 and 10 to support the answer graphically here's what i have we have the graph of the function f of x equals x plus 100 over x graphed and it shows that we have a minimum when x equals 10 and the function fx represents the sum and the sum will be at that time the lowest which is 20. so when x equals 10 y equals 100 over 10 which is another 10 so the numbers are 10 and 10 and as i mentioned earlier on the previous slide that we have the following at x equals 10 the graph was decreasing then increasing that's the only critical point that we have at x equals 10 and that will give us an absolute minimum and that should do it thank you for watching if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you